Hi guys, welcome to another Southway 1943 video. This morning I had a nice awakening um, via my doorbell this morning at half past eight. Uh, it's a Saturday morning. And I had the post lady with two parcels from me. This one is for two packs of the Wheels SS85 relay boxes, set number one, made by Pico. I have two sets of them, they came from Rails of Sheffield. And also this morning, I have got two of them, but I opened this one to help us see what's in the package. I, I received from Kerno Model Centre in Cornwall the Hornby. Let me get the number up for you. R7140. See if I can get it in focus properly for you. As you know, I will use, as you all know, I use me like me uh, Samsung. S10 phone. It's not going to focus properly, but it is the Hornby S140 TTS sound decoders for the Class 43 HST Valenta twin pack. Now, in the pack, <clears throat> you get the actual decoder itself. It's a standard 8 pin decoder connected to a standard, I wouldn't exactly call this a bass reflex speaker. Um, I would just call this a normal standards, um, like acoustic normal speaker. Um, as you know, the speakers on these are brilliant, but you know, if you're on a budget and you just want sound cheaply in your low codes, these are a good speaker to start with. Now I will be replacing these speakers as I will be replacing the speakers in the HST MTU TTS version. Um, been list looking at a lot of videos um, on YouTube, Lego Man Biffo's uh, sound decoders with his speakers, and a lot of people have uh, been on YouTube and have highly recommended roads and rails. So I'm going to do a bit of investigation work and. Uh, have a look, see what speakers are going to be best for the Hornby TTS sound decoders. But that's obviously, there's your decoder. Also in the pack, you get, sorry about this guys, little like warning instruction packet. As you know, I don't do any editing on my videos, so just bear me two seconds while I open this up. I do apologise. Um, that is my makeshift um, spray booth. It's just a cardboard box that I've adapted. And at the moment it's uh, got finishing off the drying of another kit that I've ordered recently. Yep, it's just the instructions on how to install the decoder and how to look after it. But this is the main piece of information that you get with the with the packet, as you can see, it's just got digital TTS sounds, class 43, HST Valenta, and it hasn't even got a picture of an HST on it. It's got an 08, 66, and looks like a 60 at the top. You know, Hornby, you could have done a little bit better there. You could have put at least put a picture of an HST on there with all the HSTs that you've got in your range. Come on, what's the matter with you? What's the picture? And again, it's in black and white. You know, a lot of companies now are switching to colour and Hornby. Well, you know, anyone could do this on their own computer. <clears throat> so Hornby, come on. Let's get with the... So what do you get inside? Inside you get a contents, introduction. And on this side, I'm hoping my camera's going to be able to pick this up. But... If not, I'll just read them out to you anyway. These are your function lists, and it has 25 functions. F0 is always, as always, you know, your lighting. F1 is engine startup. F2 is horn, which is high and low. F3 is horn, high, low, high. F4 is brake squeal. F5, notch up. F6, notch down. F7, return to idle. F8, fresh. 
F9 is cold start override. So if you don't want the long intro start up, then you just press F9 uh, before you press F1 to start the engines and it will just go straight into a warm start and it'll be a quicker start up. Um, F10 is compressor. F11 is cab door slam. Plays once. Uh, F12 is the fan. F13 again is another horn which is high low high and it also has on there passing whatever that means. F14 is horn and it just has in brackets fancy. Now I'll have to get these installed and have a look. F15 is primer so obviously you would press that one before if you was doing a real cold start um, from, from scratch then obviously You'd have your F15 on first, then you go into your F1 and engine start up. Uh, F16 is slow flange squeal. F17 is driver's safety device. Now, this is again another one of those things that you really do. If you're doing, I hate the word prototypical, but I will use it. If you're going to do a prototypical startup of a more, like say, like the first thing on a cold winter's morning and you know, the driver's just booked on and the driver's just got into the cab. That is one that you would, you know, use first. And it's one of the, you know, safety tests, basically. It's one of the things that drivers have to do before they even start the loco. Okay, let's carry on. F18, we have, again, another high, another horn, which is high and low. And this is prototype loco. So we'll have to have a look at that one once we've got it into the loco. F19, again, another horn, which is high, low, high. Again, in brackets, it's got prototype loco. F20 is windscreen wipers. Now, this this one, this, this, all these functions are on the MTU version, which I already have on the green one, on my castle set. Uh, okay, so it is good. You can hear it, but when the engine's roaring away, it's, it is a little bit faint in your windscreen wipers. F21, again, this is the AWS test in cab. So this would be another thing that you would do before you start the engine. F22 is another one that you do before you start the engine. It's the driver's fire bell test. F23 is the guard's whistle. F24 is guard to driver buzzer. And F25 is an auxiliary if used in locomotive. Also in the pack, in the instructions, it gives you oops, a list of the CV values. So I will, I usually change CV2, which is the acceleration rate, and CV3, which is the deceleration rate. So that's two things that you can change if you're into changing CVs. So at the moment they are set to value of 15, which is the manufacturer's set. Now also every time, you know, we all know that when you buy any decoder from Hornby, Lens, Backman, um, DCC Concepts with the new Zen Blacks, which I have one in one of my uh, DMUs, which I think is my Class 150 First Great Western. Um, you know, all decoders are factory set to free. It's a standard generic factory set number. But like I said, again, guys, you know, Hornby, come on. You're sending out a decoder for a Class 43 HST Valenta, and you haven't even bothered putting a picture of a HST on there. What? Why? Come on. And again, you know, it's the quality of the paper, you know, it's not even proper A4 paper. It's very, I don't know, it's very thin. It's, it's not very nice. And come on, haven't Hornby heard of colour? You know, it's it's drab, it's boring. I don't know, guys. Don't get me wrong. I like the TTS decoders. But, you know, Formby, come on. And the packaging, well, packaging's not very nice either. The only part of the packaging that is nice is the outer bit, I suppose. It's okay. All right, guys, but that is my little look at the... 
Hornby TTS and relay boxes that came through the post this morning. Okay, guys, until the next video, take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.